Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and today I wanted to talk to you about the Surface Pro versus the Surface Pro 2. The Surface Pro was the first Surface that ran Windows 8, and the Surface Pro 2 is the new Surface Pro that runs Windows 8.1. Of course, you can get Windows 8.1 on the original Surface Pro as well. It's just that this one, the Surface Pro 2, ships with Windows 8.1 out of the box. Uh, the difference between these two Surface Pros... Well, they're different. The Surface Pro 2 is one year newer, has a better battery life, a slightly newer Intel processor, uh, may cost a bit more for the same configuration on the Surface Pro 2 compared to the pricing of the Surface Pro, the original. And remember, we're talking about the Surface Pro. We're talking about a full Windows 8 tablet PC from Microsoft, not to be confused with the Surface RT or Surface 2. Hopefully you are already aware of all this. Uh, so having used the first Surface Pro and really appreciating everything that it had to offer, being one of the better Windows 8 experiences that I had, specifically because of the keyboard that could be attached by way of this fancy little touch cover, uh, but specifically the touchpad or the trackpad here, that's what helped me understand the paradigm of usability that is Windows 8. So to me, that is an essential part of the package, even though I don't have another one for my Surface Pro 2. That being said, I could easily remove it from, it's really on there, no joke. Uh, remove it from one, place it on the other, and be good to go. And that's one nice thing about having these two machines is that, well, they look exactly the same, they feel exactly the same, it's just that one is newer. Uh, another difference between the two, and I'm now holding up the Surface Pro 2, the newer one, uh, the kickstand has two settings, which I didn't realize when I was doing the live unboxing on YouTube. People kept telling me, the kickstand, the kickstand. I'm like, what are you talking about, the kickstand? I didn't want to push it further, but it can be pushed further, which means that you could lay the Surface at a different angle. The original Surface Pro only has one setting for the kickstand, which is fine, and it's a nice little thing to have. Uh, other than that, uh, they're for the most part, the same, and as a matter of fact, uh, the AC adapter is the same. It's got little USB ports on it, which I happen to like as well. The uh, styluses, or styli, are the same. Uh, I, I, I think that they're good, and that's the problem. If you have the first Surface, or the Surface Pro, uh, you probably aren't going to want to spend the money on upgrading to a Surface Pro 2 because there's not that much of a difference between these two machines. They're both good in their own right, it's just that one's updated. It's not worth the price of upgrading. Even if you sold your first Surface, I don't know if you would necessarily recoup the cost, or you would necessarily see the benefit of upgrading uh, from the first Surface Pro to the Surface Pro 2. That being said, if you do not yet have a Surface at all, a Surface Pro or Surface Pro 2, you could probably pick up the Surface Pro, the original, and be just as happy as you would by spending a bit more at this point for a newer piece of hardware. Uh, but you could also just jump directly into a Surface Pro 2 and probably be just as happy. It boils down to your wants, needs, desires, and budget. If you are looking for a good Windows 8 PC, if you want a pure Windows 8 experience, it really uh, doesn't get much better than this because it's direct from Microsoft. They made some incremental improvements, and I just find that um, it's not that much of an improvement over the original. I mean, there wasn't that much they needed to improve upon, and, and they didn't really need to improve, but they did. So uh, I realize it makes the decision more difficult for you, but hopefully I, I laid it out as best that I could. Well, okay, I know I laid it out as best I could. Hopefully I addressed your question, if you had a question of which one you should get. And if you need any other help with it, just go ahead and drop me a line, chris at perillo.com. I'd be happy to respond to help you with any gadget purchasing decision. It's kind of what I like to do as well as, you know, appreciating the fact that you remember to comment, like, share, and watch even more of our videos right now.